Radio. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I'm live, I'm so, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, okay, so, hi. I'm DVD01, and this is one of the classic uh, Might and Magic spin-off games. It's called Crusaders of Might and Magic. Um, and don't wonder if the game looks like this. It will stop looking like this in a second. So I'm going with 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Er wird stundenlang weg sein. Also beeilt euch, damit wir das Würfelspiel fortsetzen können. All right, so right off the bat, don't mind the German voice acting. It's horrible, so it's just for the hey, memes. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Limbiscuit, the video game. Why is it Limbiscuit, the video game? Well, you can see. Um, <laughs> so maybe someone in chat um, remember this game from the PlayStation 1. Um, there is a PlayStation 1 version for it. It was supposed to be an PS1 exclusive, but they decided we have seven months to spare, so we will go for a PC tie-in as well. Um, but this game is a completely different game, like a completely different game. Um, while the PlayStation version is a little bit of an action, platforming, whatever game, um, this game tries to be more like an RPG, but it, it is... It really isn't. <laughs> this is more like a walking simulator with a little bit of combat filled in here and there. So, yeah. Um, it, it is a weird, weird game. You will see what I mean by that. So, first of all, um, when it comes to the story, there isn't really a story. Uh, they cut so much from the PlayStation story that um, everything I do in this game is pretty, pretty much nonsense. Uh, but I will try to explain because I played the PlayStation 1 version a couple months ago, so I try to explain what is going on, but it is going to be hard. <laughs> okay, so what we are and what we do. Uh, we are Drake. Yeah, the, this hero's name is Drake. Yeah, um, very heroic name, you know. Um, must have been kind of edgy in the late 90s, but, you know, we will roll with it, obviously. So, we are Drake, as I already mentioned, and our family and village got killed by some necromancy, undead, whatever, king. Um, his name is Necros, yeah, very, very creative name for a, for a necromantic whatever mage. Um, so, we try to stop him. Uh, we got captured. By the skeletons, we already broke out by doing stuff. Um, and now we are on our way to our first main quest, which is visiting a lady called Celestia. Uh, she lives on the Citadel Island, so we have to go there first. But before we do that, we are going over to this tavern. Yeah, this is a tavern, by the way. It looks like a prison or something. Like, I don't know. This is, this is a tavern. Um, so my estimate is pretty good, so I will take a look inside for a couple seconds, so you can see the weird, the weird dimensions this tavern has. Uh, it looks like this, um, yeah. Uh, this lady stands on the table, uh, those guys are just standing there, the, the, the chairs are way too big, and, and it, like, yeah, yeah, I have no comment. Oh yeah, the barkeeper looked ex exactly the same as the other guy uh, that was standing in the corner there, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, when you see those games, like those kind of games, um, you immediately think this game is heavily glitched. Um, it is, it is a very unpolished game, a very unfinished game, but it is, it is not, um, it is not, like, um, like glitchy at all. Um, well, it, it is glitchy, yeah, yeah, it, it is, it is kind of glitchy, but... It is not glitchy that it is beneficial to us. Um, there's only really one glitch we can abuse that saves like 90 seconds and it involves leveling up twice at this point and um, getting a full healing. So, this is the merchant. Um, we want to sell all our weapons that we've collected so far for some good old money. We want to sell this healing potion, this air resistance potion, and we want to buy an armor. I forgot that in the submission video, I'm sorry. And then we would we would just yoink him. Uh, seriously, we will just go into his back room and grab all his stuff. Um, and he isn't even mad about it. So, yeah. Thanks. 
<laughs> Thanks, Merchant. <laughs> merchant of the Year, hands down. <laughs> so, um... So, I, I try to follow the chat. Um, I'm sorry if I miss anything. Um, like questions and all that. Um, but I try to... To explain everything right off the bat. So, um... This game is a might and magic game. Um, it has magic in it, it has kind of might in it. Like, combat is not a real thing in this game, like, really not. Um, it is, as I said, more of, more like a walking slash rolling simulator um, with a lot of backtracking here and there. Um, at some point in the game, we have to backtrack for like 20 minutes, um, just walking back the same way we just came. That's, yeah, that's great. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, I think, an in-house um, engine. I think it's the same engine as um, another spin-off game. It's called Legends of Might and Magic, which is kind of a uh, Counter-Strike um, rip-off game uh, with the same modes, like hostage-taking or whatever. Um, oh yeah, we can j actually grab this mana crystal through the wall, yeah. <laughs> Walls are a suggestion in this game. Um, you will see what I mean by that. When we grab the next spell, we, we don't actually need that, but it's free, so whatever. So there's a speed potion. Oh yeah, this axe is actually cursed. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't deal any damage to the enemies, and uh, you will deal damage to yourself. Yeah, it's 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 a joke, I know, yeah. This, this guy is actually small, whatever. Um, okay, before I forget it, um... The game looks very, very bad. Um, that's because it is. But I all uh, like I um, already turned the brightness all the way up and disabled all kinds of shadow effects, um, just for the fact that there are a couple points in the run where I have to see what I'm doing. It's very very dark uh, in, in some dungeons. So by disabling the shadows and turning the brightness all the way up, you disable all the darkness in this game. Unfortunately, not the darkness that comes from the enemies. So yeah, that is a um, shame. <laughs> So, so we, we save a little bit of time, uh, actually like 9 to 12 seconds, um, because we don't have to cast our spell that is currently equipped, it's that uh, torchlight spell, the, the, the torch in the upper left corner of your screen. Um, because the casting system in this game works like this, if it is a fireball or a lightning bolt, like some ag aggressive spell, um, Jake, uh, Jake, yeah, Drake can, um, can cast that while he's running, so you don't have to stop. But if it's a buff or something, like a defensive spell, then he has to stand still for like two to three seconds and you can't even defend yourself. So, nope, that is that is not good. <laughs> that shadow was very interesting, by the way. Okay, so we already did like a like a like an eight second time save. Uh, you couldn't even see it. Um, it's about leveling up. Um, as I said, for the big glitch, we need to level up twice, um, and we will level up in the next cutscene, so we save a like a little cinematic. Dark Messiah is a slapstick community uh, comedy simulator. Yes, <laughs> absolutely yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I'm I'm glad um, someone uh, mentioned it in chat. Um, in this game, they have a like very much music from um, the old school, um, from the classic RPGs. Um, like Might and Magic RPGs, uh, Might and Magic 7, 8, uh, I think Might and Magic 6 is also involved with like one track, and Heroes 2 and 3, and actually 4, but I'm not sure about that, I haven't played the fourth game. Um, <laughs> I see, I see, some, some people in chat um, are familiar with uh, New World Computing and all that. Uh, so, okay, I, I have to get it right off the bat. Um, the guy behind this game, John Van Kennigam is his name, um, he was the C CEO at New World Computing. He is a, or was a very big um, Star Trek fan, so he put a science fiction twist of, at the end of every single game he was responsible for. I think he wasn't that responsible for this game anymore, um, because that was in the last years of uh, New World Computing operating. Um, I think they got bought by um, Ubisoft, but I'm not too sure about that. I think Ubisoft just uh, bought the, the franchise and all that, like the, the licensing stuff. Um, 
So... Yeah, they, they put a science fiction twist at the end of every single Mighty Magic game. Uh, Mighty Magic 1 to 5 is actually the whole story is kind of science fiction. You you uh, search for a murderer, like an intergalactic criminal, whatever. Um, Mighty Magic 6 has something, Mighty Magic 7, 8, and this game also. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I have to show you a glitch that is actually not beneficial to us, but for a good laugh, I will show it. <laughs> Why not? My estimate should be fine. Um, so what we are going to do now is we want to save the game because this cutscene is unnecessarily long. We are going for a full healing here. Um, and we go back to Eren. Yeah, this is Eren. And we can shield dash her off her boat. And if I can manage that... There we go. And now we are out of bounds. <laughs> um, but we are not caged in here. Um, this is a, a like a like a whatever like a, sta a statement from the game. As soon as you are caged in a very ugly hitbox uh, skybox, uh, and you hit a woman with your sword, you will you will excuse me. It doesn't work anymore. Man, I wanted to try. I wanted to try a jo make a joke, but it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so I think I am actually caged. I'm I'm not really caged. I can. Suicide myself by shield dashing, as you can see. Okay, so my joke didn't work. I'm sorry for that. Uh, big, ba <laughs> big bad gameathon. I'm sorry, but I have to kill myself here with a woman. So if you shield dash a woman, you will just die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So what what was about to happen is usually um. What will happen is you you hit her head, um, and you get uh, you get a lot of falling damage. But you can actually avoid the death plane. Uh, but the death plane gets um, ab absorbed by Eren there, and as soon as you hit her with anything or actually touch her, you will immediately die um, without doing anything. So yeah, that's that was a joke, haha. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the attention. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, back to the game. So. Um, we talked to Celestia, she was like, um, yeah, there is an item that you need. Uh, it's the Horn of Shattering. Uh, the Horn of Shattering is over at Kuranta, um, at the village of the dwarves. Um, to go there, we have to go through a dungeon. We have to go through thrice in the game, um, to a certain extent. So, yeah, we are going to do that for the first time. <laughs> so, so be ready for much, much backtracking later on. Okay, so... Um, since we are any percent, we do not collect anything that we don't need to, be, to beat the game. Um, there are actually a couple of spell books we are going to get because they are right in our way. Plus, the spell is actually beneficial to us. Um, there are actually three spell books... No, four, four spell books uh, we will actually grab. Um, to help us. The next one is not that helpful at all um, because it's a Torchlight 2 spell. Um, but we can grab it through the wall and we can actually glitch it out. Like this. There we go. <laughs> now we are level 2. Um, we can glitch the spell out by just going backwards and coming back into this area. Um, so the merchant or the, the lady that gave us the spell, she respawns her spell again. So we can go for the max level which is 3. Um, in total, there are nine spells. Um, all of them have um, three levels. So in total, it's 27 spell books we can get. Plus, um, plus I think two, right? Yeah, I think I think it's two. Um, two spell books um, that are actually main quests. Uh, we can't avoid them. Oh no, it's it's actually one main quest, and um, there is another spell called the Holy Wrath something. I'm, I'm taking way more damage than I should. <laughs> uh, so in total, it's like 30 spell books. Um, in any percent, we will just grab four. Uh, and this wall is not working. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, unfortunately, you can't go out of bounds there. Uh, well, you, you can, but you can't do much with it. So what I'm doing here is um, I want to go into onto this chest because there is this, our first speed item. It's the shield of swiftening, whatever. Uh, there's no drink this time, okay. So you can bamboozle those enemies by just wiggling back and forth and then they don't know where to stand. So they, they just 
go to the left or to the right. This is pretty much RNG. The the all the RNG in this game kind of. So let's see. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Ah, oh, okay, he he walked left. Um, oh shoot! Uh, don't. Okay. No. Ah, oh, you, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> okay. I should heal myself. It's okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's standing right in the entrance. Oh, did you see that? He just did the sidewalk, like the sidestep. What a what a man, or Skelly or whatever. Okay, so this is the catacombs. As I said, we will see that thrice in the run. Um, yeah, it's unappealing to look at, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so say hello to the worst enemy in this whole game. Um, it's going to be the mage. It's this one. Oh, you missed me. Interesting. Um, so this half-transparent enemy um, can stunlock me. Um, he has a lightning bolt, uh, he can shoot at me every like five seconds and it will stunlock me for like two to three seconds. Sounds like fun, it isn't. <laughs> but um, we can actually um, override the stunlock effect by just jumping forward. Um, it, it is kind of... Um, the, the game locks your uh, movement. Uh, to just left and right. So you, so you can still move left and right after you get zapped. But you can't go forward. However, if you jump forward, then you can go forward again. Uh, makes sense, I think. Uh, so there will be one more. There, we, there he is. Yeah, as you can see, I can't do much. And he will stun up me again. Yep. Fortunately, it, it only d deals like three damage, so whatever, like three points of damage. I want to kill this guy because he has an axe and the axe is a little bit stronger than my sword. Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't do this game. <laughs> so, I can't, I can't uh, check that on the bingo card anymore because it happened at another marathon. A couple months ago, um, I was playing 100% and I ran out of healing items uh, before reaching Koranta. That that was a, a one-time thing, like <laughs> once in like a hundred runs. <laughs> so let's hope I, I will not repeat that in this in this run. <laughs> yeah, the shadows are very, very weird. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, talking about the music again, um, it's from Paul Anthony Romero. He's still playing those uh, hero songs and Mighty Magic songs with his orchestra. Um, he has an own YouTube channel. Um, highly recommend checking that out. Very nice guy overall. Um, like in general. Um, but yeah, in, in this game they try to make it a little bit more fresh by remixing his songs. Um, like um, in the, in the Duskwood, when we reach the Duskwood, um, you will hear the, uh, the Heroes of Might Magic, Magic 3 battle music, but it's a remixed version of it. Um, it you can clearly hear that this is the, the combat, the, the, the fight music. You can also hear that is um, music from Paul Anthony Romero because of the instruments used. It's very, very classic Mighty Magic stuff. Very ni nice music overall. If you are looking for good OSTs, uh, check out Mighty Magic 6, 7, 8 and the Heroes games. Especially 2, 3 and I think 4. Can't remember 5 and I haven't played anything since. Um, so I want to kill those Earth Elementals. Yeah, those are Earth Elementals. In my world, this is just an ugly rock with a face, but... <laughs> yeah, and, and he's... <laughs> he's... He's not that strong anymore because I have the axe. The axe deals a little bit more damage to them. I don't know why, but yeah, it's it's just it's just a game, you know. Okay, so um, talking about the story real quick. Um, in the PlayStation version, there's nothing like the catacombs. Um, this dungeon is exclusive to the PC version, um, and I really I really don't think that this was necessary, um, but I think they tried to pet out the game as much as possible because... Oh, wow. Thanks for the stuck jump. So there's my next speed item. Oh, they are waiting for me. Okay, thanks. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, stuck jumps are a thing in this game. Like, every five jump is, is a stuck jump. I will just get cancelled in midair and then I will just plummet. <laughs> Great, great game. Great mechanics. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so, um, going back to the story. So, I'm on my way to the Dwarven King. Um, he is about to get, to give me the Horn of Shattering. So, when you think about the, the main quest being like, go there, grab this, and then come back, you would think, like, very lazy. Well, <laughs> um, you don't have any idea how lazy this whole game is. It's like, um, so I, I try to summarize. I, I will try to summarize it later um, if you, when you have more context, but broken down, it's like you try to get the Horn of Shattering, you can't get it. Then you go into a dungeon, um, get a guy out of there, then you can go away again because you don't have the, the horn yet. Um, so yeah, you, you can just go into the Duskwoods again. So you grab an item, go back to the Dwarven King, then he gives you your, the Horn of Shattering. So you think, okay, now I have the Horn of Shattering, now I can go to the final boss, right? Not quite. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because you have to go back to Celestia all the way to the, begin to the beginning of the game just to show her the horn and she's like, yeah, that's the horn, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, now you have to save that guy you saved in the beginning of the game. Uh, Urzan was his name, by the way. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm playing safe because there is a good chance I get a soft lock uh, when those enemies are alive. Oh, come on. Yeah, the combat is amazing, I know, I know, I know. So the soft lock happens over here. Um, it might happen that they stand in front of the door and then I can't open the door anymore and then I'm soft locked. I can't do much um, uh, because I don't have an aggressive spell yet. Uh, okay, so, oh, my screen went black, okay. I take it, come on. So this axe is kind of the, like kind of a very, very strong axe for the beginning part. Um, in the speedrun, however, it's the third to best weapon in the game. Um, spoiler warning, we will not grab the best weapon in the game, which is a sword called the Holy Avenger. Yeah, the Holy Avenger. What a great name for a sword. Oh, hello. Oh, I missed you. Uh, can I, can I open this door? Drake? Can you, Drake, can you open this door? Um, yeah, Drake. Wow, thanks, Drake. <laughs> thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Scrabble has aggressive spells. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing now is, um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted a a level up at this point. Um, there's only one more enemy left, so if this enemy wouldn't have given me um, the level up, then I couldn't do the glitch, because the glitch involves dealing, uh, taking a lot of falling damage. Like 100 points straight up. So I will kill this guy just for his... Okay, not for his hammer then. Okay, so get ready for the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 battle music, but before that we will do the glitch, which looks like this. I will save the game real quick, then I will go through this door and then I got shot in the air. Wow, okay. I barely survived that. <laughs> okay, so this was the glitch. Um, this saves about 90 seconds. Uh, we are at a completely different point in the map now. Um, we we skipped like one or like two interceptions and one big, big park, whatever, uh, with a couple trees. Um, there's nothing to grab there, so yeah, we saved a little bit of walking. Or rolling, in that case. Oh yeah, th this is not the, the Hero 3 battle music. Uh, it's in the next section that is coming up ahead. So, get ready for that good old music. You will immediately recognize it. Immediately. After like 0 0.5 seconds. I'm pretty sure about that. There we go. <laughs> So there, there's um, still like one or two songs in this game that I don't know where they are from. I think they are original, um, but I'm not so sure. I will take this one real quick. Yeah, I, I will take the long sword, whatever. I don't need that much money for the rest of the game, so whatever. Okay, so welcome to Duskwood, and those are the Dashers. The Dashers 
are very, very dangerous because, <laughs> believe it or not, they are actually faster than me. They can overtake me, um, as you can see. Uh, the only way I can um, go away from them is by rolling and taking or collecting three speed items. That's the only way. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. No. Okay. Very nice. I will take that real quick. I will take that because it has a larger value. And there we go. So this is one of the spells we really need to go fast in this game. It's the her heroism. Is it actually announced, pronounced heroism or is it heroism? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know language. Oh shoot. Um, okay. There are my healing items. Oh. Uh, so talking about aggro level for a second. Um, oh yeah, you can actually fly here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, shame. Um, so the aggro level by the enemies will stay as long as I... Oh, this is the spot, right? Okay, no, I missed it again. Oh, whatever. Uh, the aggro level of the enemies will stay as long as I do not progress through the main story. Uh, what, what I mean by that, I want to read that sign. Okay, I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> this, is, this is all speedrun tech. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> this is all speed strats, reading signs, just to know where I'm, I have to go. Um, so what, what was I about to say? Um, oh yeah, aggro level. Um, as long as I do not progress through the main story, um, the aggro level by the enemies will stay there forever. Um, so for example, if I go into the next section and come back immediately without going further into the story, then all the enemies will gang up on me pretty quick because they realize or they remember me. Um, so yeah, at this point, um, like 25 plus enemies were following me around um, and that is not healthy at all. Trust me. <laughs> this guy has one of the strongest stomachs <laughs> in existence to roll this much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's Drake, he's a hero, you know? <laughs> Maybe his stomach rolls in the opposite direction to counter the rolls. <laughs> you guys are smart. You guys are smart in chat. <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> he's got the guts to roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so welcome to the village of the dwarfs, um, Kuranta. We will be here for a good minute, um, actually five. So at this point I want to talk about spells real quick. Um, as I already mentioned, we will not collect any spells that we do not need. Um, I will re-enter because this inventory was full. Uh, I don't need... How many healing potions do I have? One! What? Okay. Um, I should go for a little bit of a safety. Uh, I will go to the armor, smith, whatever, and I will grab his healing potions. This city could not, uh, could not afford any alchemist guy, so whatever. I will go for a safe strat, I'm sorry guys, but one healing item doesn't do it. <laughs> Okay, so talking about spells, um, how you collect spells in this game is very, 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 very weird. I don't think that there's any game on this planet that does it the same way. Um, so it works like this. Um, the spell, or one specific spell, is spawned at a specific point in time, at a specific uh, area, um, at a specific main quest progression. What I mean by that is, as soon as I go in here, we already lose a couple spells. Uh, I cannot grab them anymore, they are not spawned anymore. Um, this is problematic, because on 100% you will see me uh, rolling around in places we do not go usually when you play this casually, because some of the spells are kind of kind of curveballs, um, especially the, the Lightning Bolt 1 spell. Um, it is in the dungeon we will go into next, but we have to go there before talking to the king. Um, and the dungeon is 
when you go back like one interception instead of going right to the king you go left into the dungeon so yeah you will miss it pretty easily so um so for example the the heroism spell we already um got it, it would be gone forever now at this point yeah yeah blah blah Okay, so we'll go to, into our next dungeon, which is uh, the mines. So, talking about the story real quick, um, in the PlayStation version, um, we all, uh, also have to go into um, the mines. Um, but the story got cut here very, very hard. So, this song is, by the way, pretty creative, whatever. Um, it's an original track, I don't know where it's from. So I will go a little bit safe here by killing those hammer guys. It's hammer time! Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I had to I had to do that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, organizers. Sorry, host, whatever. <laughs> I, I had to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, in terms of story, um, so there is a civil war going on and um, the king got murdered and the prince got captured. So we have to find the prince to give us the horn of shattering that is that is how the story story goes kind of right now i want to kill this guy because of the xp and yeah jumping over dwarfs is disrespectful i'm sorry but i have to do it because they are body blocky as all hell ah you can body block me no okay still have room for one more hammer so we will take that oh for two hammers sorry um in a playstation version they actually mention a traitor um it's it is actually the the brother of the prince that is in the prison right here um so we oh uh, i'm an idiot i'm sorry i'm, I'm an idiot <laughs> whatever um no oh. Oh, someone commits suicide. Interesting. Um, so in the in the PC version, there's no mentioning of a traitor at all. Oh, I um, uh, what? I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> we are back on track. Uh, yeah. So as I said, they cut so much from the story; it, it isn't even worth telling you about anything. And what engineer? designed this mine this this mine is is the worst mine i've ever seen in my life so yeah this is a mini boss by the way oh my god it is so strong oh my god and we we skipped it <laughs> the voice acting is atrocious yeah the, uh, it, it is the same for the english version but in this in the german version they couldn't even afford um casting more than four different people for this game four different people um, when you think back to Mighty Magic, uh, the Mighty Magic role-playing games, um, every single character in this game has a different, a di different um, voice. Um, as, like the, the, the main characters you can choose from have a different voice and uh, the NPCs and all that. But yeah, this this is. Uh, Horrible. So, <laughs> to add to the very weird plot, um, so they have the horn, but they can't give me that because they need also a scepter of regency. Um, so, so the throne, whatever, is um, is legit. So, to add to the very weird plot, um, and to the weird civil war going on, um, there are some ogres. Um, in numbers three, three ogres came into this town for whatever reason whatsoever, and they stole the scepter. And then they just ran away. Um, yeah, um, I have no comment. I, I mean, this this is this is game padding, guys. This is this is like this is like the worst game padding I've ever seen in my life. Kind of whatever. I, I will I will take those as um, as an emergency plan. Because everything can go wrong in this game. So, okay. So I will not go to the weaponsmith yet because he is not not very well stocked on good items. So I will progress through the story like two more times and then we will buy the second to best weapon in the game. Why we don't buy the best weapon in the game? Um, we have to go out of our way for like three minutes. So it isn't worth it. And the second to best weapon is also very, very powerful. 
it can one shot enemies <laughs> um even in later portions of the game or portions of the game. typical ogre stealth ninja thievery yeah yeah exactly <laughs> okay so to to get this right right off the bat um so this is an, an rpg you know like a role playing game you you level up yada 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 um so think about a game like maybe from from this era like maybe TS3 Morrowind let's think about this game think how many side quests this game has you have a number like a like what you think how many side quests Morrowind has want to guess how many side quests are in this game little little spoiler warning for the answer it's not zero it's not zero I can see 10, 12, 4, 2, 2, for 20, 1. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we have the right answer already. <laughs> so, at least 7, 8, minus 5. <laughs> so, <laughs> this game has only one side quest. <laughs> for, for an RPG game. I mean, come on, like... I mean, if, if you don't want to compare this game to, to Morrowind, you can definitely compare it to one of the Gothic games. Uh, we already have a second Gothic game, I think, plus the DLC. Or the expansion, whatever. Night of the Crows or whatever. Um, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> this game has one side quest. And it is not even planned as a side quest. Um, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, so, the problem is they overlooked this... Um, they overlook the fact that they have the main quest from Celestia and then they add another quest to your quest book um, by going back to Koranta to the Dwarf King, blah blah blah. Um, but you can actually skip all that and just go to the end of the game um, because you have the Horn of Shattering then and then you can go through the game and then you beat the final boss and there you go. So it, it is basically a side quest. And thinking about the fact that this game got so heavily cut from from the um, from the story uh it is pretty much nonsensical to go back to um to Coranta. um i mean there, there are two spells you can grab and that's about it so yeah it's it's not worth it it's definitely not worth it so i try to snipe some of those enemies for the xp maybe we can level up one more time to have more mana and i want to kill this guy because he has a healing spell uh, which can come in handy uh Thanks. I don't need his mace. Okay, so those are the three ogres. Uh, we need the one that has the scepter in his hand. He will wreck me with it. So that's that's not friendly. And there we go. <laughs> so we have the 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 scepter of regency. You can oh you can't see it from here. Uh, I have to go into my inventory. So this is the scepter, and he also had a deck a dasha necklace. Um. I don't know what is what that is all about, but I think this Des Desha necklace is um, some item that that is important in the PS1 version. I can't actually remember. I played the PS1 version, um, not to the end though, but because it is a very, very, very hard game, like a very hard game. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, we progress through the main story, so everybody, um, like all the enemies, um, can't remember me anymore. So they have to see me again, to follow me. There's the Heroes 3 battle music again. Uh, wow, I just rolled into him. That was clever. Uh, that was speed tech, guys, that was speed tech, I'm sorry. Oh, pff, wow, what a champion, holy... He just... He just made me a fucking baseball. Oh, sorry for the F word. He just wrecked me while I, I was in midair. What a champion. Okay, so I try to get to this... ...carriage, because there's a little bit of money. Maybe I need that, maybe not. So yeah, the Desha necklace doesn't do anything. Uh, as you can see, um, maybe it's it's some... ...it's some way to whatever... Uh, ...to be friends with them, but... ...yeah, um... Maybe they are they are mad because I'm holding it. I I, I really don't know. 
<laughs> I really don't know. Oh yeah, I can fly by the way, as you can see. <laughs> this game is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, speaking of the, the side quests, uh, obviously we will skip that. <laughs> I, I don't think I have to mention that, but maybe someone thought it is it is fun to go into a town um, without any upgrades whatsoever. Um, they they won't upgrade any of the weapons and any anything you can buy that uh, there. Um, it, it is completely nonsensical to go there. So, um, what I think... I, I, I will mention that later, I think. Oh, well, I, I will say it right now. Whatever. Maybe I will repeat myself later. So, the side quest involves going back to the Dwarven King, as I already mentioned, and I will give him a letter that has no words in it. Um, I will get that from this guy, Urzan. Um, spoiler warning, he will get captured again, and we have to save him again. So, the only conclusion I can come up with is that Urzan is also a traitor that tries to to take time off the clock uh, for Drake to save the world, kind of. But it doesn't change anything. Like, there, there are no, not more enemies spawning, there is no, there's no huge spell or item I will get, nothing at all. Yeah, yeah maybe a little bit of XP, but, but that's about it. Baseballs can fly, this checks out. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Okay, so we will go to the king. We will not shop yet. Oh yeah, this song is from Might and Magic 8, I think? No, no, it's Might and Magic 7. It's the Celeste. It's the Celeste uh, town. Um, have played that recently on my on my stream. Shameless, shameless plug. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but we finished it. Very, very great game. If you have anything... Over for old school RPGs, Might of Magic 7 is the way to go, I think. Drake, Might of Magic 6 and 8, also very great. RNG manipulation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice of the other Ogus instantly <laughs> transmission out, <laughs> out of there when the, when the Scepter guy died. <laughs> they, they phased out of reality. Alright. <laughs> So that, that was everything I could do in Koranta for now, and for any percent, so we will say goodbye to Koranta. And now it's the time, it's the time, guys. The 20 minute long backtracking. Uh, it's 15 minutes or, or something like, yeah. But yeah, 15 minutes just rolling around, killing a couple of enemies, and that's about it. That's everything we can do for the next 15 minutes. So. Yeah, um, the, the problem is, now you have the Horn of Shattering, you could easily go, um, you could easily go to, um, to, um, the, the later portions of the game and just do your thing, but the game wouldn't, wouldn't let me, so, yeah, there's no way I can do anything, so I will roll over to this guy, I don't have enough money, right? I have enough money, okay, amazing. So yeah, this this hammer is the second to best weapon in the game, even though it costs less than the, all the other weapons. I don't know where where he get his prices from, but we will roll with it, obviously. Oh shoot, uh, that was my alarm. I'm sorry. Um, why why is the alarm playing? I turned everything off, and I actually reinstalled. Um, the the, o, um, the 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 OBS thingy and did everything from scratch so that won't happen but uh well I'm sorry <laughs> we will we will ro roll with that as well I think I'm I'm sorry organizers um <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> okay so as I said we will roll with everything in this game um so I will equip this oh well I I already healed myself so the spell doesn't do anything anymore uh, speaking of the life leash spell, uh, it's currently equipped. It's that, it's that uh, thing that pours something out. Um, so <laughs> this is a thing the devs actually thought about when programming this game. Um, this life leash spell only works against living enemies, like those dashers. They they are lizards, somethings, whatever, dragon, whatever. Um, but the problem is, <laughs> as soon as you reach level 2 with the spell, 
um, all the enemies, like 99.9% .9 of all the enemies are undead. And uh, what happens then when you cast a spell on an undead enemy is it does the complete opposite. It will give the enemy your health. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so to break that down, as soon as you reach level 2 out of 3, this spell is completely useless and you can't you can't experience the full level 3 spell because yeah uh, obviously all the enemies are on that at that point <laughs> i mean i have to give them credit for thinking about that but you know i have to to take the credit right back uh, when i think about uh, you are not even level 2 and all the enemies are on that <laughs> it's like a big middle finger maybe uh, so i will i want to kill this guy because he has the ah oh, there we go it's even the the level up uh, I don't need the money, though. Hmm, whatever. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, what, what happened? <laughs> okay, so we leveled up one more time. Um, but I can't cast spells because there are like 20 enemies following me around. So why rolling is the best or the, the fastest movement um, technique in this game is um, because it, it is it is faster than walking forward, yes. Um, but you can you can um, sidestep like like kind of like this. Um, but it's it's actually not as fast as rolling. Oh yeah, we roll a little bit faster now. So that's great. Okay, so, yeah, um, when it comes to the story, we now have the Horn of Shattering. Uh, spoiler warning, we have to open a door with it, but we can go to the door right away, but we can't open it. Um, it won't play the, the cutscene, whatever, because our main qu quest states that we have to go back to Celestia, and she's like, oh yeah, that's the Horn, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and then she t tells me about uh, Urzan got captured and all that. Um, so, yeah, that sucks. Oh, I think, do you have a mana potion? Yes, you have a mana potion. I remembered that. Oh, this is our, our first mana potion in the game. That sucks. <laughs> that's that's kind of bad. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Uh, we need the mana potions for the for the later potions of the game because not then we can chain multiple heroisms together to go even faster. So yeah. Um, we will not get Heroism 3 because it's the spell that made me route 100% because I was interested in the route overall. Um, so <laughs> I, I calculated it a little bit. Oh, hello, mana potion number two. Take that. Um, for the Heroism 3 spell, you have to backtrack for like 10 minutes. Um, it is not worth in any percent because it's in one of the later potions, portions of the game. Um, but uh, it is worth going for in 100%, obviously, because you have to grab it for the 100% category, obviously. Because you have to grab every single spell in this game, and there are 30 spell books. Great. Okay, so I won't, I won't kill any enemies anymore until I get into the catacombs again. You can, you can hear it at the, at the, with the footsteps how many enemies are following me right now. Yeah, look at this. And they will follow me all the way. <laughs> all the way to the to the entrance. So I can't snipe anything, I can't do much, I can't cast a spell because I have to stand still, yada yada. Um I need a hedgehog costume, yeah. I mean you you, you can manipulate the files for this game. Um It's an old technique where everything like every single texture is uh is like a, a picture or something. I, I can't. I can't really. Um, I can't really uh, explain what I mean by that. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. By the way. Um, yeah. Th those look like mines, right? Hmm. Let's put some dwarfs in them with with uh, with pickaxes. That that doesn't look awkward at all because those are like the the iron pick clan, whatever. Like the the guys uh, from the Civil War. Why why are they five of those in this random catacomb? Where did they come from? Oh yeah, this door is not locked. <laughs> so there's a mage. I will just jump over him. So yeah, um, as I already mentioned multiple times, now we have to go back the same way we just came. Um, the next guy with the fireball is pretty interesting though. Um, he will 
He will play the level up cutscene as soon as I kill him, but we will not level up, so I will not kill him. Um, this saves like 8 seconds. Maybe he can catapult me. In this direction, maybe? Ah, okay. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, ah, I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Because I can't make full use of it. Because, well, so many mages. I mean, you can ca uh, you can count all the the zaps. It's like ten, ten alone in this area. This was like three, four. There's number five coming. Yep. And there's the number six. Yeah, it's. I'm 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 pretty glad Ben Gera and I. Uh, shout out to Ben Gera at this point. Uh, he routed the the first uh, prototype run for this with a time of like a 135 it, it was like more like a fast playthrough than anything um, but he gave me the inspiration to move on and uh, refine it a little bit more so yeah thanks Ben Gera uh, so we uh, as soon as we found out that you can just jump forward to cancel the 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 soft lock or the, like the 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 stun lock thingy um, this game went way, way easier. Um, it's kind of the same as in um, in another game, Jungle Storm would uh, will uh, run later on. Um, it's uh, it's a, that game with the ninja, um, the last ninja on NES. Um, as soon as they found out, you can as soon as you you punch at the same time as the enemy, um, it will cancel all the damage you get from that punch. So it's kind of the same here. Okay, so we have a lot of downtime, so if any people in chat have any um, any questions, uh, now I, I, I have the time and the, the patience to read that. Um, so yeah, the, the, the rest until um, Celestia is pretty boring, so if you have any questions that wasn't answered yet, feel free to ask them. Or just give me your opinion or your role jokes. Everything is welcome at this point. <laughs> Even if you want to say, hey, DVD, you are the best run in the world, uh, then yeah, <laughs> I have to ask for a time timeout or whatever. <laughs> oh, hello, mate. Oh, he's he's sleeping. Wow, he was sleeping. He was not paying attention at all. <laughs> How long have I, I run this? Um, I think I started in 2019, I think. Um, I, I was running it uh, here and there. It, it, it is not my my main main game. Um, to be honest, I'm I'm not speedrunning that actively anymore um, because I have no time due to my job. But um, when I run a speed game, then it is uh, Turok 2: Seeds of Evil, the classic one from 1998 on the PC. Very very broken game. It's not as broken as the the remastered, but it is it is fairly broken. Um, and the other game I'm running is a French game called Little Big Adventure 2. Um, in the US it was Twinsons Odyssey. So maybe you can remember, you might rem remember that name. Uh, Jungle Storm is also a runner for that, or was a runner. I, I don't know. I don't want to say anything wrong. Um, oh yeah, wow, the snipe from, from way downtown. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, there's something like a spell a spell cancelling in this game. So if I get hit while casting a spell, then the spell might be gone. But I will keep my mana points for whatever reason. I don't know. It's a little bit of courtesy. LBA, you say? <laughs> yes, yes, Jungle Storm. I said that. Oh, oh God. Um, yeah, this is the the Hall of Shame. There are so many mages. And one transparent guy. Was our protagonist a hoop snake in his past life? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's 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 lore. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> maybe something happens at the end of of the PlayStation version, <laughs> because the PlayStation version is uh, story-wise like like the, the the as I mentioned it in the beginning. Maybe some people um, tuned in. Then, then welcome to this game. Let's call it a game. Um, so uh, this game was uh, planned as a PS1 exclusive, but uh, then they decided to make this game in like seven months. Hello, spellbook that I don't need. Can I get a, a fireball? 
Oh, okay. So maybe something happens at the end of the PlayStation 1 with, uh, with snakes and all that. <laughs> um, when did this game get released? Um, uh, this game was released in like 2000. Um, like, like, like late 2000, like, uh, like, um, <laughs> you can actually, actually see, um, the release date. It's like shortly before it, it was Christmas. It was like the 21st of December in the, in the year 2000, I think. Um, the PlayStation version, uh, was released like, uh, like April that same year. So yeah, 2002 vibes, I can, I can feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this game is a role-playing game. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> As you can't already tell since, like, a, a good hour. <laughs> Do you also run the PlayStation 1 version? No. Um, I've played it uh, casually, um, and I think it's it's a very, very hard game. Um, there is, a, like, a segmented speedrun for it. Um, that is that is actually, like, like, one hour, 12 minutes, I think. Um, very impressive run, um, because casually, this game is a hassle. Um, the enemies are way too strong, uh, your weapons are way too weak in my opinion, and the casting system is, is something else. I, I don't know, I, I, I didn't quite enjoy it. Uh, there are way more um, well-refined games, like the Gauntlet games and all that on PlayStation. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Um, back at the Citadel. So this, yeah, as, as you can can see, that was completely backtracking. Nothing else. <laughs> so yeah, I could have. Ah, well, whatever. That that was a waste. That was a waste. Because when you cast a spell and then you go into a cutscene, um, the spell's duration goes further and then it wears off. So yeah, that that was a little bit of a waste of mana, but whatever. Um, I will have it regenerated soon enough. So, welcome back to Celestia. Oh yeah, 1999, okay. Äh, 1999, um, in the North American. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's right before Christmas. They, I think they, they wanted to bank on that um, with this game. My father did it like three years later. Uh, he gifted me um, a boxed version of it. Um, plus the, the, um, uh, the, uh, the Legends of Might and Magic game. Um, but I, I I have to give it or I have to give them some credit. Um, the actually the instruction manual to this game is very very fantastic. They they tell a story within the the manual kind of. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe you can find it on GOG. Um, yeah, th this game is on GOG. Uh, but I think they don't have the original manual. Um. Uh, yeah, they, they try to tell a story within the the manual as you go through it. Um, it's it's a very interesting one. Hmm, <laughs> Bruscuto textured walls. <laughs> okay, so um, claps and chat for the undead. Um, they managed to invade this whole town within like two minutes. So not too bad, not too bad. Um, <laughs> we, we will not see anything from it because we will not go back into Kadozul. This is the, the town, Kadozul. Um, we could go back to the tavern and we would see enemies that are not apparent in this whole game anywhere else. Um, they try to sneak that in, I think. I'm very stingy with my heroism spell today. That's, that's not too good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the graphics are, uh, well, is it actually bad for 1999? Um, as I already mentioned, I I disabled all the shadows um, or shadow effects um, from the textures and all that. Um, so I save a little bit more time. Yeah, this this shadow looks awful. <laughs> two two sons, two sons. <laughs> okay, so she gave me the talisman of true sight. Um, that doesn't do anything. 
right off the bat I can't use it or whatever, it uses it automatically. Um, so now I can see some brainwashy enemies. Um, yeah, and I, I will kill my, my own my own guys here. Uh, because one of them has a speed potion that I really need. Come on. Die. Die. He has a healing potion. Wow. Another healing potion. Take that. Uh, so this is the guy, right? Come on. Hey! No shielding allowed. So, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, this this is like a brainwashy ghost, whatever. He will fly in the, into the air. Um... So yeah, this, this is supposed to be a plot thingy, whatever, um... It's like the, like, some of the, the, the friends, like the, the army, the garrison, whatever, uh, is controlled by some brainwashy enemies, and, uh, therefore the, the Necros guy is, is in front or whatever, I, I really don't know. Um, I think it, it has more relation, uh, or, or may are, uh, more importance, um more importance in the PlayStation version but in this game it's 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 it doesn't do anything um even even the guy that got brainwashed uh, they won't attack me as long as I do not attack any um friendly people around him so whatever no survivors <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, as I said, I, I have to give them credit for what they could manage to build in seven months. Um, as I said, this game is completely different from the PlayStation version. The only things that they copied is the music from Might Magic 6, 7, uh, no, well, Might Magic 7, 8 and Heroes 2 and 3. Um, this is everything they, they got and, and the voice lines from, from the PlayStation version. That's all there is uh, and all um, that uh, they can could work with. So yeah, they they made this game up from scratch pretty much. So yeah, I, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad. Maybe it's a little insulting to put this in, in a big bad gameathon because I I saw this little uh, a Bucks Life uh, bootleg game by Jungle Storm and uh, this weird uh, this weird uh, Space Invaders kind of clone. Like those games are not too good, <laughs> not good enough to be in a big good marathon, whatever, a b big good gameathon, whatever. Um, so yeah, putting putting it in there is it, it is not a, a quote unquote bad game. It's it's just an unfinished game. They they couldn't do much with it. So yeah, but yeah, playing it 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 isn't a pleasure to to play it when you played uh, Gothic and Morrowind and whatever. Oh hello, I have to kill you. You have a mana crystal for me. There we go. Uh, yo, uh, mana crystals um are a little bit of a like a safety measure for me. Um, because they will grant plus five mana, uh, mana regenerates over time, but as soon as I cast uh, the Heroism spell, which costs 15 mana points, um, by the time the spell wears off, uh, plus a mana crystal, I'm I'm at plus 14 mana, so I have to wait for, for like three more seconds to cast another one. So it's, it's just a safety measure at this point. Okay, so now I have to think about my... Uh, like a little bit of a strat change. It is a little risky though, but I I stock up on healing items, so it should be fine. Um, because I routed him in something from the 100% run. Um, it's not a spell, it's an armor that actually gives a little bit more speed, but we will take a little bit more damage as an ex exchange. So we should be fine. It's it's stony, stony harambe. harambe. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was an earth elemental, by the way. As I already said, this is an, a very ugly rock with a face. <laughs> oh yeah, we will see uh, ice harambe, 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 um, soon. Because we will go into the glaciers. Oh, thanks for the curse. That deals like three points of damage or something. Yeah, it's actually three points of damage. Oh yeah, thanks. I for forgot to jump. So yeah, this is the, the quick save heavy spot right here. Because you get so many cancelled jumps and getting zapped in midair that it will cancel your jump and then you will just plummet to your death. Thanks for the curse again. 
Oh yeah, um, I totally forgot about that, to mention that at the beginning of the run. Um, I actually deleted a, a sound file from the from the folder. It plays every time I roll in this game, and it sounds like a wet sack of potatoes getting thrown to the ground, kind of. It, it sounds it sounds like a boof, 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 you know. Uh, you don't want to hear that, like, like 2,000 times in the run or 3,000 times. I, I have to actually count it. I should do that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got a we got a raid. Hello raiders, welcome to this great game. Oh, that was a oh, that was a close one. Shouldn't have been a big problem if I missed that jump, but it is annoying for sure. Okay, so there is another one of those lightning mages. I will just get zapped here, um, because rolling is a little bit. Come on. Ah. Oh my god, he just... He just pulled that one off? Oh wow, thanks for the pinball effect. Can I kill the... Drake, what are you, what are you doing? I mean, I, I should go for a safety measure against those mages. Uh, there is a shield I could pick up. Um, it's the reflection shield, uh, so I can reflect... Or deflect the... Um, the shots from him. Okay, so I will take that as a safety measure. This armor right here. I will drop that. I wanted to drop that. Thanks, game. Okay, so now I am actually faster. By a fair margin, by the way. Oh yeah, there, there was a floating healing potion. <laughs> could could see it, that for a second. Hello, fireball. Another fireball. Wow, I dodged every one of them. Amazing. Nice one, Drake. Yeah, he is, he is doing a lot of barrel rolls in this game, like 2,000, 3,000 per run. Wow, I just dodged that by jumping. Wow. Okay, so there is a little bit... Yeah, there it is. There it is. My emergency plan. A mana potion and a healing potion. So how many healing potions do I have? 13. Yeah, that, that should be fine. That should be enough for the rest of the game. Go away. Okay. Okay. Okay, so as I said, we are on our way to the glaciers. Uh, but we are not done yet with the um, with the catacombs, because there's one more speed item I have to grab. And sorry in advance to the viewers and the chats and the the, the VOD viewers or whatever. Um, if you feel dizzy at the end of this run, I'm sorry, uh, but I highly recommend checking out the 100% run because there is the Heroism 3 spell and then Drake goes nuts like. <laughs> He goes so fast that not even the animation can can follow it properly. But this guy is... Oh wow, I just rolled through him. Okay. Doesn't work that often. Oh, thanks for that curse. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be... Did he just friendly fire his own guy? Look at this! What the hell? Yeah, this is supposed to be a mini boss. Um, you can just skip him. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game is amazing. Oh yeah, to be honest, you can skip every single mini-boss in this game. Um, but the final boss is not skippable, obviously, because it's a final boss. You have to kill him. Okay, so let's see if I co can pull this off. This should be enough to go in there fast enough to not get stuck. Ah, wow. Well, not with a... Not with that jump, Drake. Okay. Seems okay. So, <laughs> here um, you can see a drink, um, like an invis invisibility potion, um, it's it, uh, on, on higher difficulties. Um, the, the problem with this drink, however, is um, the only thing that is invisible is the actual effect. It doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Um, oh my god. Yeah, this, this, this can happen. I will just shield dash my way through. Come on, you, come on, you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Drake, 
<laughs> so yeah, this this game is amazing. <laughs> As you can't already tell, this game is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Such a great experience. They really like rock brown textures, yeah. Um, as you can see, um, they will, they really like to make them white at some point. So welcome to the glaciers. Uh, I want to kill some of those guys because all of them have. Oh my! Oh my God! Okay. Um, okay. There we go. Some of them, or most of them, have mana crystals, so it is a safety measure again. Oh come on! Those are actually pretty powerful. Not against my weapon, though, but, you know. Okay. This looks... This doesn't look healthy at all. <laughs> okay, so there's a spell, which is debatably the worst spell in this game. It's called the Snap Free spell. Oh yeah, and this, these are Frost Titans, by the way. This looks like the the guys from Duskwood cosplaying. I don't know, like, if you think about the Titans from Mighty Magic 7, for example, those look very great, or Mighty Magic 6 even. But those are fucking jokes. I'm sorry for the F word. These are very, very bad. These are, yeah, Titans. Titans in quotes. Snow is even faster. Yeah, that's that's the ring I just picked up. Uh, it's the it's the next uh, speed item. Now we are equipped with four speed items: the armor, the shield, and the two rings. Oh yeah, this is um, the Mighty Magic Seven theme song, if I recall correctly. And and it's playing it's playing uh, when you uh, arrive at Harmondale, or when you go into your castle, Castle Harmondy. And this is another Mighty Magic 7 song. I think this plays when you go into the pit. Yeah, it's, it's a Mighty Magic 7 song, but I, I I think it's a pit. Or Deja. Maybe actually Deja. Okay, so... Um, so, remember what we have to do here? Um, we have to find Urzan and free him from the Frost Titans. Yeah, he, he, is, he got captured by the Frost Titans. So get ready for the most epic, most stress-inducing mini-boss fight you will ever see. Look at this room. Look at this. We have to fight this big thing. Look at this. This is, this is amazing. Holy damn, how can I survive this? And we did it. <laughs> and we get kicked out by all those. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the GGs. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sweating over here. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Okay, so at this specific point in the main quest, uh, we can grab the hero uh, heroism three spell. Um, uh, am I going the right way? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking 100. percent So um, I was going to talk about that actually. Um, so in 100% we have to go back into the glacial cave right now without any reason whatsoever um, beside grabbing the Her heroism 3 spell that's all there is we have to go back in there grab the spell go out go one step further it, it's actually one one step like over to this fence yeah this is a fence yeah i don't know it, is, it looks weird um and now get ready for the, for the next boss fight holy i i can't actually express myself how stressful this is look at this Epic boss fight. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Danke, dass ihr mich von diesem Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last re of his life. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> 
to, to summarize that because it, it cut off uh, for whatever reason. Um, so, first, now the Heroism 3 spell is gone, even though we have to go back into the Glacial Cave again. But second, um, so we killed the Dasher. Uh, he was supposed to be brainwashed by one of those ghosts. And, um, and in his last breath after he read for the last time. Oh, he's stuck, by the way. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but yeah. <laughs> he's like, dude, could you not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, as I said, in his final breath of his life, he was like, Yeah, thanks for killing me. Um, there is a ghost that was brainwashing me. Um, I could see one of his dreams, and he was dreaming about an item that makes him makes them vulnerable. Uh, so you can grab it. Okay. That was, uh, you know... If I get beat up like this, I wouldn't think about that. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is not faster. It's it's actually like, is it? Oh, maybe it is actually faster. I haven't I haven't timed it yet. Um, I will go to the uh, through the um, other entrance. Um, this is actually reserved for the hundred percent category um, because there are a couple things you can grab. Um, but I will go this way just to show it off. Um, and maybe it is actually faster than going through the the other entrance. Um, Oh, wow, that was not too good. Um, so yeah, this this is the side entrance to the cave. Um, it involves taking a lot of falling damage, if I'm not careful um, enough. But let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So, um, the way back out of the cave is actually faster, um, through the other entrance. Um, that, that one is pretty, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's 100% or any percent. Um, but on 100%, um, it's faster to go out the other way. Um, when you go, first go in here, um, to save Urzan. Uh, because there are, there is a spell right next to the entrance, so, yeah, you can just go back there. Okay, so, um, I already talked about the science fiction twists. Yeah, they are coming, like, right now. This is actually Might Magic 6 music, if I recall correctly, or is it actually Might Magic 7? No, I think it's Might Magic 7. It's one of the dungeon music. Oh, no, it's, it's the music that plays when you go into the haunted house in the Barrow Downs. Okay, everything is fine. Very thematic music for a ghost house, right? So this is this is like a big I don't know, like this is a spaceship. And there's the spell. Grabbing it. And then they despawn all the enemies. And this this one is pretty difficult. Yeah, I will just go save here. So yeah, that that was the spell. That that was everything I needed. <sighs> Thanks, game. Um, yeah. Thank you, game, for being stuck. Oh, come on! Oh, I saved it. Okay, I, I think I messed up. Oh, ah, I can't save it. Okay. Well, it, it doesn't matter. It will sp uh, respawn me at the spell. Yep. Now I have to turn around. Okay, that's a problem with quick saves. As soon as you quick save in a spot where you don't want to be, then... <laughs> You are in grave problems. <sighs> yeah, okay. Couldn't couldn't do it. So now I'm I will just jump. Because there's no way to outrun his um, lightning bolt. So there we go. And now we will go out the other entrance. Yeah. 
And as soon as I reach the Desha village, um, I will I will say it when we when we are there. Um, but if any organizers are around, um, the run should be over in like like maybe seven to eight minutes. Obviously, I, I we, we will we will not be overestimate. I'm pretty sure about that. My estimate is is very very friendly. <sighs> I mean, as long as I do not mess up, which is pretty easy in this game, so whatever. Oh yeah, I, I can show off how fast I can go now uh, with the with the the drink, the speed potion. So this is the fastest I can go uh, with four speed items and the heroism two and the speed potion. How many do I have actually? I haven't drank any. 12, wow. Okay, so now we can go fast for the rest of the game. Which is good. I like going fast. Oh yeah, um, why I'm jumping be uh, before drinking is, um, a potion is uh, because I can skip the the drinking animation for that. By, by doing that. He has a spell, doesn't matter. Thanks for the fireball, highly appreciate it. Okay, so there's a mage I try to... Okay, he turned, he turned the other way. <laughs> what a man, what a man. He, he jumped like, I don't know, like <laughs> 300 meters. <laughs> down down a weird hole and he's perfectly fine like two two points of damage <laughs> seems legit <laughs> so yeah as part of the speed run um it may not be obvious but i'm that kind of player that sandbags every single fucking friggin item i'm sorry um until the end and then never uses it. Is there anyone in chat that is exactly the same? Like in, in Resident Evil, for example, you, you send back all your healing items and all that and then the credits roll. <laughs> I can't be the only one. <laughs> I really can't be the only one. Always. <laughs> Always. Yeah, might, might need it later. I mean, you could you could sell it at a at a merchant, but nope, nope. We we, we might need it later, when you are at a pinch. <laughs> All, always the same, always the same. Okay, so that that was a little bit of a waste, but I will not drink a speed potion. Never used the rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Might need it for the sequel, the sequel that never happened. <laughs> I, I can't really make up or make out why there was no sequel to this game. Okay, so I got captured by the Dashers and now I have to help them. So the run should be over in like five minutes. Oh wow, I actually got a level up in this cutscene. Never happened before, mark that on the bingo card. Meine Leute und ich sind für immer in eurer Schuld. Bitte bleibt und genießt unsere Gastfreundschaft. So there we go and we will drink that. And then let's hope I will not get lost because I get lost in this so many times. But I think I should be good. I think it's to the left here and then we are good to go, right? Yep, nice, very nice. First try getting out of this hellhole. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So what I will do is I will drink a mana potion. Then I will replenish my my heroism. Then I will drink a, f a speed potion and I will kill this guy because he has a mana potion. Oh, uh, nope. I want my hammer. Equip the hammer. Okay. Okay. So there's one more spell I really, really need. Um, it is beneficial to us in the in the boss fight. Uh, so where's the guy? There it is the, the red hellbird, and there he goes. Uh, where's your spell? Yeah. So he dropped a spectral ally, friend, whatever spell. Um, I can summon a friend that will fight for me. 
um, but he is very, very, very weak. Even on the highest level possible, which is level 3, um, this spell isn't worth it. However, um, the final boss is programmed in a different way. Um, and he, he is a, on a different opinion. So, um, the thing is, the final boss, it's Necros, by the way, yeah, spoiler warning, um, he attacks, or he's coded, he's, he's programmed in a way that he will attack the weakest enemy first. I think this is an oversight, but yeah, it, it, it is. It is what it is. Um, so he will attack the the spectral ally, and then I can just slash him like seven times, and then then it's all over. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, great, great boss fight, great boss fight. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, I will cast my heroism spell. I will jump, drink the speed potion, equip that, drink that, and then we should be good. So this is a maze, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a maze. So we have to get to the other side of the castle. Uh, now we are in western stronghold, we need to be in eastern stronghold. It's the same exact stronghold we went, uh, we, we spawned in, basically. Okay, and so we are in Eastern Stronghold. <laughs> yeah, that maze is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I should be. I I would have been broke if I I'd say I donate like one dollar for each bad joke in this game. So whatever. <laughs> okay, so one more time. Speed potion. Yeah, I sent back all those speed, uh, speed potions for no apparent reason. Okay, so there we go. This is actually the beginning of the game. Oh, I, I activated it. I'm... Excuse me? There we go. Oh, I closed it. What the hell? Okay, I didn't know I could close the door on me again. That, that was weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we will again roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> bad games deserve bad jokes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is the final area of the game, the final whatever. Okay, so what I will do is I will drink that, I will drink that, I will have this equipped. This is the final... The, 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 the spaceship, whatever, this, this is the science fiction twist at the end. Um, fun fact, the game can crash. Um, it, when in, in one specific room there are too many enemies. Oh, come on. Let me through. Okay, please, please don't be a meanie. Okay, he isn't. Uh, uh, he tried to be, okay. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Mana... Oh, I'm a little bit slow. Uh, go out of this room. Okay. Yeah, the, the curse is whatever. I don't know. Okay. Uh, no. I wanted to drink. Okay. That was a waste of time. <laughs> okay, so this is Necros. This is the final boss. So the run is over in like a minute. Yeah, what, what the... <laughs> what, what he said. <laughs> yeah, what, what he said. <laughs> Yeah, my magic games are very special. Okay, so what I will do is I will dash behind this pillar. I will try to not get cancelled. Okay, very nice. Uh, then I need my... No, 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 no. Wrong spell. Okay. Yeah, this should be good. Ah, wrong, wrong side. Give me the hammer. Okay, so where's, where's Necros? Where's my ally? Did my ally just die? Huh? Okay. Uh, there's another ally? Can you attack this? There we go. And get ready on the timer, which is myself. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No, 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 no,
Okay, and here we go, time. <laughs> okay, that that was a close one. Okay, I can I can actually attack my ally, and he's dead. Yeah! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Alright, so 128.50, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that, that, that was not, not, a, not a very good run, but um, I had my fun. Thanks for watching, uh, thanks for chatting, for asking questions. Uh, if you want to learn this game or uh, want to play it yourself, um, GOG has it. It's, it's fairly stable on modern systems, so if you want to give it a try, um, be warned. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for having me, Big Bad Gamathon. I had a blast, had my fun. Enjoy the rest of the marathon, guys, and uh, see ya. Enjoy life and enjoy bad games. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.